here I'll play the Serbian system but he played knight f3 so no more now four knights uh, I did a lecture on this one play rook e8 and bring the bishop back to f8 play g6 okay let's go with the six I gotta play c6 and to oppose this bishop in the center with c6 and d5 somehow. I just have to find a way how and what's the best way of doing this. Bishop f5 does a pretty fine job there as well. Let's go knight d8. Okay, fighting against the bishop. I'm happy if you do d4. If you do d4, because now I have this one threatening your bishop, and I'm threatening queen h4 to threaten. Oh, did he just blunder? I believe he did. I believe he did. I believe he blundered because if he moves the bishop I'll take by bishop on d4 yeah d4 was such a bad move you can't go and break in the center with the exposed king and even if he moves the bishop I can even consider rook take c3 for example but I'm just saying I mean I should be completely winning here he has to call it a day Maybe some knight c6, but in case of knight c6, I just played knight c6 and he resigns. Yeah. Uh, well, I can even play b takes c6. My opponent has problems with the e4 and e3. So even if he plays bishop now, okay, I'll take it. Now I'll go with the rook e3 check. Let's have fun with this guy. I mean, he doesn't want to resign, so he's gonna suffer. Uh, can I play knight d4, uh, king d2, and some stuff there? Let's go with the knight d4. On king d3, I have bishop f5. I have bishop f5. Man, what are you doing? Do you think I'm such an idiot? Okay, 23 moves. Wow.